There has been a great deal of public interest over the recent series of incidents, CPIB arresting and investigating a, mem a minister, MPs resigning, and before that, the allegations about the ride-out rentals. The way we have handled these incidents shows how seriously the PAP takes our responsibility of governing Singapore and being accountable to Parliament and to Singaporeans. Let me assure members, when such issues come up, we will deal with them properly and transparently, as we have done, with the ride-out rentals, when allegations of preferential treatment surfaced, the two ministers involved were thoroughly investigated, including by CPIB, and eventually fully exonerated. The investigation reports were tabled in Parliament, and we had a long session answering MPs' questions in this House. When CPIB discovered on its own that it had reason to arrest and interview a minister, it opened a formal investigation. Nobody tipped them off. There had been no public scandal. CPIB came across something that needed investigating and proceeded to do their job. When the Speaker of Parliament and a government MP fell short of the standards of propriety and personal conduct expected of them, they were asked to resign. We took some time to sort it out, probably longer than we should have, but we did what we needed to do and put the situation right. The two CPIB investigations and the response to the personal misconduct case show two aspects of how this PAP government works. One, when there is suspicion or allegation of wrongdoing in the discharge of official duties, especially possible corruption, there is zero tolerance. Two, when people slip in their personal lives, the PAP will look at the facts of each case carefully and deal with the matter as humanely and sensitively as possible according to the principles that the party has established. 